Hello everyone, welcome to the Divine Summoners. Here we talk about The Last of Us 2, but in a little bit of a different perspective. Um, yeah, we are going to be bashing it, don't get me wrong. But this is going to be more of a um, tip for the video game industry, okay? Um, so let's start with our little art with inverse um so we are going to be having a wonderful little ma'am kill our protagonist from the first two one game both um joel and ellie granted i've not played the last of us i've heard it's good um but I prefer JRPGs, let's be honest. Um, but you know, if you like it, great. More power to you. But this cult of Christian people, do you really honestly think that it's going to be the cult of Christian people that's going to be at the end of the world going, Jesus save you? Probably not. Because, you know, what they're... What's, there our faith uh, apocalypse probably would have happened first or the rapture okay not some zombie apocalypse so yeah and so from also from the rumors they're really really showing the LGBT, LMNOP, start down L, right, square, in everybody's faces. <sighs> I've said it once, I'll say it again, out of the million times. You're not helping anybody's fucking case when you shove this shit in people's face. Okay, so as I said in my video about Wolverine is not gay, I am working on a video game myself, uh, currently doing story. Um, as I said, yeah, would gay people be in it? Yes. However, it's not going to be shoved in people's face. There is a way to do it without shoving it in people's face. Okay. You don't go, oh, this character's gay. This character's gay. Okay. When you do that, you're treating us like a fucking purse puppy. Okay. I'm not familiarly bond. It doesn't work like that. Okay. And to say, oh, at the end of the world, yeah, le le she's lesbian. Okay, great. She has a kiss. Fine. But we really don't have to do the whole Christian cult thing. It really is not called for. Because there's going to be other problems that you got to deal with. Let's be frank. The zombies. I think that's what it is. Anyways. Um, but. Another thing I do want to point out. Is. The way they're making women. I mean. Who the fuck are you listening to? Oh wait. I know. Miss Anita Sarkeesian is who you're listening to. <sighs> Jesus take the wheel. That feminist does not know. How to write a woman. She does not know how to do women in anything, story and or video games or what have you. Okay. So as we have from One Anger Gamer, Western versus Japanese characters. I mean, look at this. That's a woman that don't look like a girl. I'll tell you, shape baby. There are drag queens that look there are drag queens that can pass for fish for real women. This is not a woman, okay? Hell, that ain't even ma'am. That's a boy. Boy. This is a girl. And look at what we get down here. Mmm. Ugh. You need to paper bag this shit. Send it. Ugh. Send it into a black hole. So it's never seen again. Like, oh my god. And they all look like, this is a very bad Rihanna. I mean, really. If I was Rihanna and I saw this shit, I'd be like, lawsuit. 
if you're going to make somebody that looks similar to me, you better make her damn pretty. Not, no, that ain't fucking pretty. Gorgeous is what I want to be. I mean, all this shit. And, but here we go. Japan. Feminine looking, pretty, gorgeous. Easy to look at. It sells. Even the guys are pretty. He's handsome. But the women, oh my god. I mean, honestly. Just, they look like they're hags. Like ugly witches. And honestly, if I was a woman, I would be pissed <laughs> at this shit. It's like, women don't look like this. Even when they get, oh, well, I mean, some of them when they get older, but not all of them. But it's, it's too masculine. And then you're going into the, even if you are doing it for trans, like, there are some trans people that pass for women. This ain't even helping them either. This makes you go, oh, so what? Are you saying all trans people look like this? No. There are some trans, male to female, that you would never have guessed. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Even with drag queens, there are some drag queens that you'd be like, damn. Okay? This is not helping anybody's case, especially if you're going for representation. Otherwise, let's gatekeep and keep it out, okay? Because even, mm -mm, even gay people would prefer to have a gorgeous woman than to have this ugly ass shit. Keep it out. We don't want it. We don't need it. Keep it out. But as I said, if you're really going to go with a cult for Christianity and going after the LGBT girls the lithiums and that lithiums that's from first class club hi um a don't make it look like they're fucking from the dark ages with robes i mean come on it's like you tore out a page from the crusades like oh let's have a christian cult they'll be robed oh well, aren't you innovative not really hmm and y'all really do deserve this if you well actually you know what they did listen to anita sarkeesian because yellow flash did a video and i will shout out yellow flash um that they did listen to anita sarkeesian and you know what Y'all do need to go bankrupt and stop producing video games because if you, it's shit. <laughs> sorry, but not sorry. Mm -mm. If you can't make a good video game with a good story, good characters without having to put identity politics into it, could you put politics into a game? Yes, you can. But you have to be careful. Because if you do, it ages your game. And your game can't progress into the future. You have to be very careful with how you do things. Because with mine, I want to do something that's reality meets Final Fantasy meets Sailor Moon. That's what I'm going for. Politics, no. But I plan on changing names of things. That way it's not, you know, that on the nose. Okay. But, and with Final Fantasy, I mean, oh my god, y'all really had to have an ethics committee to talk about Tifa's titties. I mean, really? Really? Is it that damn bad that a female character can have boobs? I mean, it's not like she was a K cup or, you know, an L cup. I mean, she looked like she was, you know, possibly D-ish to double D. But, you know, that was the whole fun of, you know, the polygons. Triangles to make it look like she got big titties. Tatankas. But we just 
pretty women, well, as I say, sex sales. Fantasy. You want pretty women. Hot, sexy guys. Okay? It's a fantasy. I mean, you already got guys that are ripped up in the app department. And it's like, okay, basement's flooded now. But the women is like, ugh. Can we, like, paper bag it and send it to a black hole? Don't return. Descender, please. Be gone. Even Satan wouldn't touch this with his. No, he'd be like, um, turn your ass around and go back. Thank you. Mm -mm. No. So, my tip to the gaming industry in the West um, would be make prettier girls in your game. And you might actually sell even more shit. Okay? You really would. Because guess what? Pretty women works on both sides, okay? Both straight and gay. Well, and then you got the buys. So we all love pretty women, all right? Hell, even women like pretty women. Oh, there's your inclusion that you're looking for that you want so damn much to include women into the gaming world. But guess what? They already were. But you know what? When you got ugly ass women, nobody wants to play it. Nobody. Oh, and to the East, I would recommend don't censor and also don't listen to everybody over here, okay? We've been buying your shit for a long time and we prefer the way it is. That's why we like it. Give us the gorgeous ladies, all right? Do I play Dead or Alive? No, but I know it's super popular. Why? Because the girl just girls and the titty physics. Once you take out the titty physics, it don't work. And it's sad that Nintendo kept it. But what are we expecting? Sony's now in California. Ugh. Where they like to censor everything under the fucking sun and take all the fun out of everything. Y'all should, well, first you should purge everybody in your sector. Then you should move out of California. Then you can make even more money with smarter decisions. And less taxes. Just a little pro tip. So... I feel sorry for everybody that was looking forward to The Last of Us Part 2. Because um, I just kind of got hit with a bombshell myself with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Or actually Reboot. My bad. I've been calling it Reboot for a while now. Um, but I can understand. And... I really, really, really hope, because they moved up that release date. They were like, oh, we postpone it indefinitely. And then the leaks come like, oh, shit, we'll, we'll bring it up to June. It's like, oh, I see how it is. So you're going to give everybody a piece of shit. Well, you already given them a piece of shit. But now you're really giving them a piece of shit. Um, yeah. You're going down, down in that burning ring of fire. You really should have thought this through better. Um, you should have kept Ellie alive and Joel alive. You could have focused one part, not necessarily one half of the game, on him, but even maybe like one third of the game and then the rest on Ellie if you want to do it like that. And then like a meetup, what have you. But this whole taking half the game from their perspective and then switching it in the last half to, hold on, let me scroll up to Miss Ma'am. Ma'am. To Miss Ma'am. And she kills them. Not a good idea. That is how you lose fans. That is how you upset people, and that is how you lose 
sales. Okay? Not a good idea. And as they say, there's rumors that that's supposed to be transgender. Well, if you're looking for ma'am from GameStop, you got that right. But it could have done a little bit better of a job. I mean, really. I mean, I know a lot of the transgender are trying to change the perspective of how they are and everything. But really, even with women, with the way you're going, they look like men anyways, uglier than men. But this really doesn't help them either because what it's going to be is the bathroom thing. People play the game and they're going to be looking for anything that looks similar to a man. And they're like, uh, you are the dude. Doesn't help the cause. Just saying. Take it from somebody within the community. When you do this shit, does not help a cause. You make it worse. Just make a fucking game. That's it. If you want to include LGBT, great. Don't show it in people's face. Let it be gone. But, Miss Ma'am, oh my god. Let's talk about this nose, okay? This is terrible. She needs a nose job. And honestly, girl, padding, you know, something. Make yourself look the part. And are you, well, you're kind of working out, I guess, that or you're on some drugs. But then again, it's like, well, this is post-apocalyptic. How she gonna have time for surgery? Well, you know, there are things you can do even in a post-apocalyptic world. You'll probably find some bird seed at least and socks or something and at least try to make some titties. Drag queen tip. Okay? If you want to look female, try to look female. And uh, her mama was a doctor. Her mama could have, like, done a little, you know, something. At least a little, you know, something. But, well, let's think y'all fuck this one up royally. And pay your damn people. Well, this has been wonderful, hasn't it? Thank you all so much for watching. Give me a like, subscribe. You can catch me on YouTube at Divine Gradia. Let me know in the comments below about what y'all think about this. Because let me tell you, it's still hot shit out here. <laughs> Whew. And let me know if this has actually changed your mind on buying it. I've not played the first one. So I didn't really plan on buying this one. Um, I'm mostly amazing it mostly because of the shit that's going down. It's just too good not to pass up. It's like, ooh, okay, let's take it and run with it. So y'all let me know what you think. Have a good one, and may Leviathan and the sword guide you all. Bye.